during the meditations, it is helpful for those who call upon guides or angelic presences to do so. For that work which you are doing is work in which you are vulnerable, for you are open to learning. And you do not always have truly appropriate vibrations for this energy. This must be seen to carefully. The self must be gotten in order, cleared of the small change of life's miseries, cleared even of the laughter of good times, clear to listen within to what has been called in your holy works, the still, small voice. That is your magical personality. It is well to call any whom you wish to call to aid in your protection. This is not an illusion any more than you are an illusion within. This instrument, for instance, evokes, we correct this instrument, invokes the archangels, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Oriel, And with these four pillars standing in the corners of the room, there is an overarching golden dome. For these principles of love called the archangels are most powerful and most protective. When you have prepared yourself for the meditation upon the magical personality, it is well to sink into the self with no pressure, no thought, no worry, and no wonder, but rather simply to open the door and invite the wisdom and compassion of the ultimately learned, balanced being which you shall have become. To the self as it is, It is well when one wishes to work in consciousness with another by communication to make these same preparations. For by far the majority of those who channel are channeling their own magical personality, their own higher self, their uniqueness. And it is well when it is finished that mentally one acknowledges that one slips off the garment of light and moves back into the illusion of energy fields and the experiences that challenge you to love. The magical personality is one which is grounded 
in the deepest humility. And in the strongest sense, paradoxical though it may seem, of the worth of the self. like a string or a ribbon. This unrolling behind you gives you information at each present moment as you request it. And those who wish to maintain a magical personality outside the discipline of meditation may indeed work with the visualizations. I am cool and we shall continue. It is well for those who wish to maintain the spiritual, magical personality for a longer time than a meditation to work with visualizations. The first visualizations are simply shapes. The square, the circle, the triangle. The discipline it requires to hold this image in consciousness is the same kind of discipline that an artist employs as it studies its technique. That it may, in the end, be a better instrument through which music or communication or healing or living may use to allow you to be the shining metaphysical being that you truly are. It is not advisable in our opinion to keep the magical personality any longer than one is able to remain completely clear within. This normally limits that which the magical personality may do to very brief moments within the waking hours and to inspiriting dreams during those hours when the subconscious and the conscious move together in play, in ritual, and in meaning. For woe betide those who act as if they were acting out of a magical personality when they are less than clear. May we say this is extremely unadvisable and that the student of the magical personality who does not wish to study the tree of life, the Kabbalah, and all those things which would inform one of the history of this concept. Content the self with knowing that the magical personality lies within you, fallow and ready to bloom. When you call upon it, may you do so in humility. We hope you may call upon it often, but always 
protect the self before you open your vulnerable spirit to that which, though it is you, appears within the illusion to be another. For those who do not clear themselves excellently may receive any number of guides which would purport to be the magical personality, but which instead are means by which positive polarity is gradually lessened.